Hey, Speed Demons, let's check out how to draw on your PowerPoint slides, but more specifically, how to whiteboard on them using the Pies shortcut. So jot these down. P-I-E-S is the secret, most specifically this control S at the end, to whiteboarding on your slides and actually keeping the ink. This is part of my Getting You Hooked on Your Keyboard series, and if you haven't already signed up to join me on this journey, make sure you sign up over here for my YouTube channel because that's how I'm going to get you to happy hour. Now these pies shortcut is also a great excuse to go touchscreen if you already don't have a touchscreen computer. These are some of the new Microsoft Surface Book Pro and the clamshell versions, which are all touchscreen. I'm still using my old trusty T450S and you can see my stylus is all banged up. So you can see I've gotten a lot of use out of it. And it just has a little rubber thing at the end. So you don't need anything fancy here, but you do need a touchscreen. And your pie shortcuts are simply this. So the control goes with all of these, all right? So control P for pen, control I for highlighter, control E for eraser, but you really need to be careful here because control E and E is totally different. And the clincher here is the control S for all slides. And if I just hit control S for all slides, you're going to see the all slides dialog box, which lets me cycle through my presentation and basically jump anywhere I want. And notice at the end, I have whiteboard one, whiteboard two, and worksheet one. So let's jump to whiteboard two. I'm going to click go to. And right off the bat, if you hit Control S a second time, you'll see the slide that you were just on. So you can either just click and jump back there if you want to. So if you get lost in a meeting, you can get back there. I'm going to stay here on whiteboard too. So Control P for pen is going to allow you to just with your stylus or with your finger, this is what my finger would look like. It's not as accurate. Draw on your slides. And this is great. You can first off just change ink down below. So if you're in the middle of a brainstorming session, you can say idea one and how easy it is to draw on your slide depends on what type of touchscreen you have, idea two, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. The way I really like to use this right now is during webinars and trainings, I can set up boxes that I can check off like this. You can change the ink, you can, um, you know, circle things, cloud things, you can underline things, et cetera. I, th I find this super easy. So that's control P for pen. Now, if you go control I, you're immediately going to jump to the highlighter option. All right. It's going to start as this yellow, just like a normal highlighter. You again can change the color. Just click down below. This will let you to highlight things. Um, if you have a dark background, it kind of looks like it's filling it in, um, et cetera. So that's control I pretty straightforward. Now control E here is what you really need to be careful. There's a huge difference between control plus E and just plain old E. If I hit control E on my keyboard, I'm going to use my mouse cursor so you can see this. Notice that you get this eraser. This eraser, control E will give you an eraser. And if I just use this with my pen, I can strike through things. will slowly just erase the ink that I want to erase. If I just hit E on my keyboard, boom. I lose everything and there's no way to go back. So make sure that you know the difference when you're using your touch screen between control E and E and don't make the mistake. All right. Control E is going to bring up the eraser, which allows me to erase as I go. If you just hit E, you're going to lose everything. Now, just quick note, if you do hit escape out of presentation mode, you're going to be given the option to keep or discard your ink. If you say keep, you are going to be able to highlight this and do anything you want with it, just like normal PowerPoint objects. I'm going to go shift F5 again. Again, the final shortcut or really the clincher that allows you to jump back and forth between your whiteboards and actually keep all that ink is control S. So if I hit control S on my keyboard, I'm going to get my all slides dialog box. I'm going to jump back here to slide number seven. I'll just use my touch screen. I'll click go to, and there are your pies shortcuts, P I E S pen highlighter eraser and all slides dialog box. If you ever forget those, you can use your F1 presenters live raft keyboard shortcut, which I covered in my other video, which is your secret to unlocking 32 different keyboard shortcuts. Here's what those pies shortcut look on your keyboard. Just for a visual reference. Again, this is your first step to busting through your everyday tasks and exploding your productivity. And again, if you want to join me on this journey, as we continue to get you hooked on your keyboard, just make sure you subscribe here to my YouTube channel. If you're just looking for PowerPoint resources that help get you to happy hour, including PDF cheat sheets of shortcuts and all that jazz, just look for the links directly beneath this video. This is Taylor from Nuts and Bolts Speed Training, and I'll see you at happy hour.